ओके स्टूडेंट्स तो नाउ वी विल डिस्कस द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट व्हिच इज हाउ कैन वी इवैल्यूएट द न्यूमेरिकल अपर्चर ऑफ दिस फाइबर ओके सो द फाइबर दैट वी आर यूजिंग हियर इज अ प्लास्टिक ऑप्टिकल फाइबर व्हिच हैज अ कोर डायमेंशन ऑफ रफली 700 माइक्रोन सो इट इज रिलेटिवली लार्ज फाइबर because if you consider a conventional fiber the core dimension is roughly 10 micron okay so here once again the laser is now straight and that laser uh, will fall into this microscope objective whose main motive is to couple the light from the laser to the fiber okay the fiber is kept on a fiber chuck it is tightened by using this rubber cap okay and the fiber chuck is actually attached to a position or stage so you can make use of these knobs okay to up to optimize the coupling of uh, light from laser to the fiber so since the core dimension of this fiber is relatively larger so it is you can say that it's easier to couple the light right but whenever it comes to couple the light to a single mode fiber it will give you a nightmare okay so now the laser or the light will flows through the fiber okay at the output also you will have you can see that there is a fiber chuck which is used to keep the fiber straight and fixed and then it has been fixed on a, a a mount okay the post holder and the mount is inserted into the post holder and uh, there is a detector you can see as i already told you that this a uh, pin hole detector with a hole diameter of 700 micron okay so now how will you measure the numerical aperture of this fiber is that uh, you need to scan the beam or uh, in terms of its uh, photo cutting and you need to scan it along this direction you can say it as a x direction okay so the laser the light from the fiber will fall into this detector and then you need to scan the detector along this x direction as a result whenever uh, most of the light from the fiber will fall into this detector you get a maximum power or maximum current and as you move away from that center central spot your power will reduce so typically the power will uh, follow power or the current will follow the gaussian distribution so as you can see now on the uh, on the detector the reading is showing 2.8 milliwatt milliampere now since the detector is placed or is attached to a position or stage now if i can change the position of the detector using this particular knob you see that the power will get changed okay because now it is moving towards the gaussian tail okay so that's why the power is reducing now it is reduce the scale so that you can see that so there are other two axes also so here what you need to do is that you need to move away the detector from the fiber end okay so if you move away from the fiber the gaussian distribution will flare out so more will be the separation between the fiber and the detector uh more it will be flaring out and the peak power will reduce i'll show you so it will be like this so if you increase the z value the peak power will reduce and uh, the flaring out of this output power will be will be same okay so now in this experiment once again i will do a few modifications so in this experiment what i will ask you to calculate the separation between the fiber beam and the detector i will give you all the readings for a, for a particular distance for a particular separation or say for two separations and i will give you the numerical aperture of the fiber i'll ask you to measure the separation between the fiber beam and the detector okay 
So that will be the task I think uh, that will be mentioned in the objectives of this experiment. Okay. So this is all about the this experiment.